Stranger in the Woods by Carl R. Sams II and Jean Stoic. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting, twirling dance through the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. Daybreak came softly, moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. The birds were the first to notice. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods, take care, take care, the blue jays call out a warning from high in the tops of the tall oaks. Do you hear the jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes, he whispered. I always listen to the birds, the wind blowing through the trees, the rustling of the leaves, and all the sounds of the woods. There's the blue jay and the mother and her fawn. Stranger in the woods. Who? Who is in the woods? Where? Where did the jay say? Where is he? Asked the owl of many questions. Yep, there's the owl. Coo, coo, could that be him? Asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree, follow the snow trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. There are the doves. Who, who is in the woods? Why is he here? When, when did the stranger come? Asked the owl of many questions. I've been here since early morning, before the first pale light on the eastern sky, said the munching muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed by my pond. There's the munching muskrat. I followed the snow trail under the light of the winter moon, answered the buck. He was not here during the night, that I am sure. There's the buck. As the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of the meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted. Where is he? Where is he? Can you see him? Yes, yes, I do see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and check, 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 check him out. There's the doe. And there's the squirrel. Who, who, who will go? Who, who, who will go see? Asked the owl of many questions. Now don't be looking at me. I'm too busy chew, chew, chewing on my antler, sputtered the porcupine. There's the porcupine with his little antler. You'll not be volunteering me. No siree, said the scared rabbit. Is, is he watching me? Howdy-dee-dee, it's me, the chickadee-dee-dee. I will go, I will take the lead. There's the poor little scared rabbit. That's the chickadee. I'm um, the smallest and I can, can scamper quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tunnel under the snow where only I can go. Creeping in closer to get a look, quietly, just like a m -m -m mouse. Let it be me. Let me go, volunteered the fawn. I can do it. I know I can. 
There's the mouse and the brave fawn. I'm the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. I can fly faster, chirped the cardinal, but I can run like lightning, and I have antlers, boasted the buck. But I'm, I'm red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say. There's the brave buck and the fast little cardinal. Together, they go investigate the stranger. What are you waiting for? I'm there already, Dee Dee, exclaimed the chick Dee Dee. Gee, 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 said the chick Dee Dee Dee. There are nuts and seeds on his hat for you and me. This stranger is friendly. Come see, come see. There's plenty. I can see there's something for you, said the buck. Could it be there's something for me? My nose is leading me to corn buried beneath the snow. There. The deer investigating the stranger. I found a treat that I can eat, said the young doe as she reached out to the stranger. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? There she is, reaching out to the stranger. She took his nose. <laughs> What's this? questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? found a mitten. After the corn was gone, the animals left the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman stood alone, but only for a short time. There he is, the snowman. or as we know him, the stranger. They've eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister, peeking out from behind the evergreen. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back, encouraged the brother. The animals will never know we were here. There they are. There's the sister and her older brother. How long will we feed them? She asked. For a long time, he replied. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. I think they like the carrots the best. Here they are, refilling the snowman to feed the animals. And then they're walking away to go back home. The end.